In this video, we are going to take a look inside one of the most beautiful Explorer yachts I have ever been on. This is New Marines 37 XP. Make sure you stay tuned because in this video, we will be checking out her state-of-the-art wheelhouse that is packed full of the latest marine technology. And we will also be having a look inside her large engine room, home to her twin man, the 2868-800 brake horsepower engines. I cannot wait to show you this amazing vessel, but please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let us start this yacht tour in her saloon. The large windows allow lots of natural light to bathe this incredible area. There is plenty of space for comfortable seating, with the indirect lighting helping to create a very relaxing and soothing feel. A huge high definition flat screen TV is located in the starboard aft quarter of the saloon. The perfect place to catch up on your favourite shows as you motor towards your next destination. You can easily seat 12 people in this vast saloon in comfort. The bright and modern interior aboard this 37 XP emphasises her modern feel. Her large saloon doors elegantly open with the simple touch of a button. Moving forward, we find the large dining table set underneath soft and ambient lighting that can seat 12 people. I love the fact that in here, you can slide back these doors to open up the area to the gentle sea breeze for when you want to take a break from the air conditioning and instead fill your lungs with fresh sea air. And talking of sea air, when traveling at a cruising speed of eight knots, depending on engine options, you can expect a range of around six thousand nautical miles and to be honest with an interior finish and interior space this good i would be happy just to keep going backwards and forwards across the atlantic again check out how many windows this 37 xp has on a starboard side six large almost floor to ceiling windows really help to ensure that you feel connected to your surroundings and just look at how big this wine cabinet is with space for at least 70 bottles of your favorite drink there is more than enough capacity in here to keep you and your guests going as you motor across oceans. As we head forward from the saloon, we enter a lobby and gym area before we take a look inside a VIP cabin. On this 37 XP, the owner elected not to have a gym in this area and instead has this water cooler that helps to reduce the amount of single-use plastic that is used on the vessel. The internal floating staircase aboard this luxury motor yacht is perfectly lit with ambient indirect lighting. Downstairs is where we find the accommodation, but before we check that area out, let's head forward. Here we find a conveniently located day head that, as far as day heads are concerned, would not look out of place inside a seven-star luxury hotel. Next, let us move forward into this stunning VIP full beam suite. To starboard, we find a door that leads into the walk-in wardrobe. To port is where we find the entrance to the ensuite. I love the fact that there is also a desk and chair to port. Just imagine the views from here as you catch up on your emails. The narrow mirror on the forward bulkhead gives a sense of additional depth in this luxury VIP suite. And just look at the size of that TV. Now let us head into the ensuite. In here we find his and her sinks with a huge shower that has a rain head fitting as well as a removable shower. I absolutely love the use and placement of the indirect lighting in here. Being six foot four, one of the things I'm always conscious about whenever I'm aboard any type of vessel is how much space there is in the ensuite. But one of the things about the 37 XP is just how much space there is throughout this entire vessel. I would love to see this VIP suite lit up after sunset. I can only imagine how soothing it must be to relax in here after a day of water sports and exploring wherever it is you happen to be. As mentioned earlier, the expertly crafted walk-in wardrobe is located to starboard. In here, there is plenty of room for all of your personal belongings. And just remember as you look around this VIP suite that this is not even the master suite, but the exceptional quality and finish in here is reflected throughout the entire vessel. And now join me as we descend into the accommodation area. First of all, as we head over to starboard, 
we find a twin single cabin with plenty of storage space and of course an exceptionally high quality finish. The ensuite cabin has a very large window and is incredibly spacious. As we head out of the cabin and across the way is a utility area that has two very large washers and two equally as large dryers. Now let us head back out into the main passageway and continue aft so we can check out the other cabins. Here we find a very spacious double suite with enough room to be able to walk around the bed. This double cabin also benefits from an ensuite with a large porthole with smoked glass, meaning that you can see out of here, but of course you can't see in. Heading back out and across the way, we find another double cabin with its own ensuite. As we head back out into the main passageway, over on the right hand side of where we're standing we find a cinema room and over to the left we find this opulent VIP double cabin. One of the things I love about this cabin is this huge TV that is concealed in the bulkhead. One of the great things about this particular double cabin is the size of the ensuite. This is the sort of side shower that you would typically expect to find in an owner's suite. But on the 37XP, there is no compromise when it comes to making maximum use of all available space. So now we have finished having a look at the accommodation on this deck, let us check out that cinema room. Of course, if an owner wanted to, then this cinema room could be turned into a cabin. But personally, I love it in here. The large, comfy sofa is just so inviting. And look at the size of that TV. What a perfect place just to relax with family and friends and just take in your favourite movie as you cruise to your next port of call. If this was your boat, would you keep the cinema room or would you have a cabin? Let me know in the comments. Here we find ourselves in the lobby area as we ascend the floating staircase to one of the most magnificent bridges that I have seen on any vessel. In front of the state-of-the-art helm station we find three very large forward raking windows. Over to starboard is a door that leads out onto the other deck and here we have what can only be described as a mini ship's control centre but on the bridge. Behind the helm station to starboard is a seating area so guests can enjoy the view. As mentioned before, the helm station is fitted with state-of-the-art equipment. On here we have Raymarine large multifunctional displays. Note also the two digital displays for the engines and a very large Raymarine chart plotter over to port. Whereas many helm stations on boats of a similar size have a single seat, here we find two. As we peer forward out of the forward raking window, just look at that commanding view of the area around and in front of you.
Another feature that I love about the bridge on the 37XP is this workstation over to port. As we head back over to the port side by the workstation is where we find the entrance into the captain's cabin. One of the good things about having the captain's cabin right next to the bridge is if there are any emergencies or if the captain's attendance is urgently required on the bridge, then he or she is literally just a few seconds away. Let's take one final look at this beautiful bridge before heading out onto the upper deck via the door that is located on the port side of the bridge. The big clutter-free foredeck has lots of areas where an owner and his or her guests can relax and enjoy the scenery. All of the deck gear aboard the 37XP has been laid out in such a way that the crew can easily carry out anchor and berthing operations with a very clear and unobstructed view of what is happening around them. As we look aft and up towards the flybridge, note the two LED lights above those forward raking windows. I also love the black finish of the radar mast. As we are out on the upper deck, let us head up to the flybridge where I'm sure you will be just as impressed as I was by the amount of space on the flybridge. As we ascend the stairs up onto the flybridge, prepare to be met by an area that is perfect for entertaining guests. Behind the helm station, we have an alfresco dining area with sun pads to port and starboard. Next, we have a comfortable lounging area before aft, we find the jacuzzi that is flanked by a three-seater bar. What a perfect place to spend hours soaking up the sun. As we head back forward towards the helm station, we see the sun pads on the starboard side that lead up to a barbecue and grill area. The helm station is located amidships and has everything that you would expect to operate this vessel from the flying bridge. The huge, sturdy hardtop on the flybridge provides excellent shade for when you want to have a little bit of respite from the sun. But what do you think of this fantastic and incredibly spacious area? Let me know in the comments. Now you might be wondering about the owner's suite. It is located here aft of the bridge, but as this 37XP that I was filming aboard is a private vessel, I could not film the owner's cabin. But I was able to film the owner's terrace that leads out onto the boat deck. The custom made tender with its blue hull that matches the hull of the motor yacht is simply beautiful. And check out this beast of a jet ski. How fantastic must it be for the owner to wake up in the morning and stroll out into this magnificent area. Now let us head to the 37 XP's impressive air-conditioned engine room via the beach club that has a very large retractable swim deck. This Numerine 37XP is powered by two MAN D2868-800 brake horsepower engines. They give this steel-hulled vessel a top speed of 14 knots 
with a cruising speed of 12 knots. As mentioned before, when motoring at her economic speed of 8 knots, then you can expect a range of around 6,000 nautical miles. Her displacement at full load is 310 tonnes and she can carry 51,000 litres of fuel. I love the fact that this engine room is air conditioned. You know, one of the things that always put me off being a marine engineer was the thought of having to work in the sweltering heat of an engine room when alongside in hot locations. But that's one thing the highly skilled marine engineers aboard this 37 XP don't have to worry about. What do you think of this impressive space aboard this magnificent vessel? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to give the video a like because it means that more people on YouTube will get to see it. The video recommendation in the top left hand corner is one of my videos that YouTube thinks you're going to love. So please feel free to check it out and check out my other playlists. Until next time, fair winds and following seas.